What is up guys, Johnny here, back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. We have another special guest on the channel today, ZoxYT. He's top 5 on the leaderboard, number 4 as I'm recording this today. He agreed to share with us his 5 loadouts for ranked multiplayer in Season 3. So in today's video, we will look at all 5 loadouts one by one. And after that, he agreed to answer some questions about the loadouts. Before we start, make sure you guys hit the like on that video if you want more of these and subscribe to the channel right now for more Call of Duty Mobile videos. Also, make sure you guys check out ZuxYT. He's got his own YouTube channel. I will also post the link in the description down below. So let's start with his loadout number one, which by the way, it is not his primary loadout. We'll talk about it later. But loadout number one is the Type 25 loadout. The attachments for grip, extended mag, and quick draw is pretty standard for most players. Sometimes players will use FMJ instead of the mag, but we see that a lot. Now secondary is using SMRS, another very common site on ranked multiplayer. He's using War Machine, Frag Grenade, and Trophy System. The perks, maybe something different here for perk number one is using lightweight guys, then toughness and dead silence, also very, very common on ranked. Now loadout number two, S36 here, pretty standard attachments again, quick mag, FMJ, and quick draw. And once again, SMRS to deal with the score streaks. Now everything else is the same guys, war machine, frag grenade trophy system, lightweight toughness, and dead silence. Now lightweight is pretty common on LMG loadouts because the movement speed is super bad. Here we got the MSMC loadout at loadout number 3. Standard attachments, once again grip, extended mag, quick draw. We see that on pretty much any MSMC loadouts. As secondary, he chose to not use the SMRS on this loadout. He's using the MW11 here with fast mag, FMJ, and laser sight. Now it's pretty personal here, the attachments. Some guys like extended mag on that pistol. Some guys use silencer instead of FMJ or silencer instead of the laser sight. Now why a pistol instead of the SMRS? Well, the MSMC got nerfed. It's got less bullets in the mag right now. And you know it's faster to switch weapons instead of reloading so maybe right now in season 3 with the shorter mag on the MSMC some players decided to switch uh, from the SMRS to the pistol. Now everything else is the same once again war machine frag trophy lightweight is also common on rushing loadouts and then same stuff again toughness and dead silence. Now loadout number 4 is another rushing loadout is the AKS 74U very popular in season 3 standard attachments quick draw barrel and grip then again the pistol for the same reason everything else is the same except perk number two on that one is using hardwire hardwire is popular in search and destroy because trip mines have a bigger role in search and destroy but everything else is the same once again this guy really loves lightweight as perk number one now finally the loadout number five is a sniper loadout lots of players have at least one sniper loadout for ranked multiplayer this time he's going with arctic 50 on season three his personal preference some guys prefer the dlq some guys prefer the arctic 50 the attachments also is a bit different here from what i've seen before he's using the silencer the stock and fmj a lot of players on their snipers loadout will use a mag either fast mag or extended mag well, Zux decides not to use mag and he's using both FMJ and silencer. Some players decide to choose one or the other. Now he's also using the silencer on his pistol on that loadout and he's using extended mag and FMJ here. Now everything else on the right side, once again, war machine on all five loadouts, frag grenade on all five loadouts. The difference here is using smoke instead of trophy system. He's got trophy on all four loadouts. And the last one is a smoke grenade. And then on the bottom, also a big fan of lightweight. He's using lightweight on all five loadouts. And you can notice also dead silence on all five loadouts. For perk number two, he's using again toughness on four out of five loadouts. No ghost here. Now, of course, I had a few questions about the loadouts. And Zux is Italian. is not so comfortable with English. And we decided not to go for a live interview. We exchanged the questions and answers through Discord. So my first question was, do you have a primary loadout? Do you have a loadout that you use more often than the others? He says his main loadout, the one he uses the most, is the MSMC loadout. 
for a couple of reasons. First of all, he's a competitive fragger. He wants to be the first on the team. He wants to get kills. He likes to push a lot. But also, he loves the MSMC and he feels very comfortable with that weapon. So even after the nerf, you see a lot of top players still using MSMC in Season 3. But that answer also explains a lot why he uses Lightweight so much on all his loadouts. Now my second question was about the smoke grenade on loadout number 5. I asked him why you use trophy system on all loadouts but smoke grenade on that one loadout. He said usually in competitive scrims he used trophy system on all his 5 loadouts. But recently because he plays a lot as a team, they tried some new strategies and he wanted to try smoke grenade. Now of course he's not gonna go into the details because it's probably personal and they don't want to share everything but still. Uh, when you play as a team you don't need everyone to run for example uh, the shield and domination and in search and destroy it's very good to have smoke grenades especially when you're, you're on the attack. Some lanes you cannot cross at the start without risking being sniped and it's very good to have one guy on the team throw a smoke so some guys can cross the lane. Now if you watch a lot of search and destroy I'm sure you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. For example on scrapyard right at the start if you want to go on the right side it's very tough without the smoke but also it can be used as a distraction. You can throw a smoke and go on the other lane and they don't know exactly how many players cross the lane uh, because of the smoke. It can also be very good in domination when you try to capture. Trophy system is good but having one smoke on top it's maybe gonna make a difference once in a while. Now my next question was about the lightweight perk. It's not common to see someone use lightweight on all loadouts. Very often on team deathmatch some guys will use agile on their uh, type 25 or even flight jacket for, for domination for example. Well, he answered it's all about movement speed. He likes to push, he likes to rush, he wants to be there first. So for him, it's all about be there first. But also he said what, uh, the combination of a blue weapon that have extra movement speed uh, after you spawn. Well, in combination with lightweight, you're going to have even more speed. Apparently they stack. I know Hawksness made a video about that also. My next question was about the frag grenades. He's using frag grenades on all five loadouts, no trip mines. I asked him, is it because you think uh, trip mines are no longer good at very high ranks? And he said mostly because he's used to frag grenades, but also he said uh, trip mines are for bots. So whatever you think that means, um, maybe the good players are not going to fall for it as much anymore, or they're using hardwire a little bit more at high ranks especially in search and destroy so whatever you want to interpret from that answer uh he had other words also he's not a big fan of trip mines next question about s36 i asked him do you see it that much on high ranks i also asked do you think it needs to be nerfed he said i use it now in rank because a lot more players use it and it's very strong so it's kind of like fight fire with fire you gotta use it to beat them. He also said in his opinion he thinks S36 needs a nerf. It's a bit too strong right now. Now my next question I was very curious about why he used hardwire on his AKS loadout but he's using toughness on the MSMC loadout. So I said why the decision? Is it because you use one for specific game modes? But he said it's all because of the recoil. He says AKS pretty much have no recoil so if you're gonna get shot it's not gonna make a huge difference if you have uh, toughness or not so you can manage uh, to get the kill when getting shot so he decided to use hardwire on that loadout so he doesn't have to worry about threat mines but on his MSMC loadout because the recoil is so big on the MSMC if you're gonna get shot it's gonna make a huge difference if you don't have toughness so he feels like toughness is important uh, if you have recoil on your weapons. Now my last question is the same I ask everyone. Do you feel like 5 loadouts is enough? I asked the same to Sam last week and this is a hot topic on Reddit. Some guys think we should have more loadouts. Sam said it's pretty good with 5 but Zuck says he would like to have more. He says 5 is enough but it would be nice to have more because he has to change his loadout often, he tries a lot of new stuff and sometimes he has to remove a loadout that he doesn't really want to remove. So because of that, 
it would be more convenient to have more. So once again, that was Zux YT number four on the leaderboard right now. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I want to take a moment to thank you, Zux, if you're watching this. Really appreciate uh, the time you took to answer my questions. Also sharing your loadouts with the community. I know a lot of guys like to see the different loadouts. The little differences, the little subtle changes. It's always very interesting. So guys, once again, hit the like if you enjoyed. If you have some questions, you can ask in the comment section down below. And don't forget to check out his YouTube channel, ZoxYT. I'll put the link once again in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.